Tommy Lee, Kid Rock, and Taylor Swift, what do they all have in common? Welcome back to Andrew Says, I wouldn't lie to you. Except for maybe this once, if Tim Pool can wear hoodies and toques, or beanies as you call them, and Paul Joseph Watson too, then why can't I? Can't wear dress shirts all the time, I'm sorry. So this is mainly about Taylor Swift and Kid Rock, but Tommy Lee went on this silly tirade that I think you guys need to see. He's been sharing a lot of CNN stuff. If you go to his timeline, you get the, the gist of it. He says stuff like he's got to take another Trump, like he's got to go to the bathroom. He spells his Twitter name with two threes. Yeah, that thing from like MSN, 1999. It, it's, it's sad stuff. Here's the, what I'm calling an insane text tirade. Here's what he said. You Trumpsters pray, better pray that liberals never gain control of the White House again because we're going to pay you back so effing hard for all this. Planned Parenthood's on every damn corner. Rampant. We're repainting Air Force One pussy at pink and fight over your beloved Bible belt. Tossing birth control pills, condoms, and atheist literature from the cockpit. We're going to tax your mega churches. Joel Olstein will need to get a job at Chick-fil-A to pay his light bill. Speaking of Chick-fil-A, we're buying all those and giving them to any LGBTQ person. Your sick cult leaders tortured with conversion therapy. Have fun with the new med menu. Try the McPence. It's boiled on seasoned chicken breast that you have to eat in the closet with your mother. We're going to gather up all of your guns, melt them down, and turn them into a gargantuan metal mountain emblazoned with the face of Hillary Clinton. All parks will be named Rosa Parks ASAP. We're replacing Confederate statues with BLM leaders and Mexican immigrants. Every single public school will be renamed after a child that was kidnapped by this regime. And after we fumigate the White House, we're repainting the whole thing rainbow. Fox News will be taken over and turned into a family refugee shelter. We're turning Hannity's office into a giant unisex bathroom with changing tables and free tampons. And every single time a Trumpster complains about any of the changes, we're adding an openly gay character to a Disney movie. Now it seems Tommy Lee has fallen for every single piece of political news propaganda that's ever come across him. And when people say it's Trump radicalizing people and people respond with, it's actually the news, this is what they're talking about, okay? We all know they've been pushing stuff like this. And this is the type of stuff you get. Are you thinking from Planned Parenthood on every corner? Ooh, great. Encourage tons of abortions. That's cool. You don't have to be for or against them to know that, know that they're not a good thing. In general, Black Lives Matter, Fox News, outrage over Disney characters, children being kidnapped, he really has it all. Fox News is evil, you know? Sean Hannity's evil. Everyone's against... Like, where does this Rosa Parks stuff come from? Everybody's, that's the, everybody's racist. Black Lives Matter leaders, Mexican immigrants, he's got every possible thing he could misinterpret and just believe what the TV tells him he seems to have had. And this is what happens when the TV tells you to. And clearly, no matter your celebrity status or financial sta status, people are not immune to it. Now, Taylor Swift, on the other hand, expresses her political opinions in a more classy manner even though I still disagree with her, she's much more respectful. In an interview with Vogue, she said, Unfortunately, in the 2016 election, you had a political opponent who was weaponizing the idea of celebrity endorsement. He was going around saying, I'm a man of the people. I'm for you. I care about you. I just knew I wasn't going to help. The summer before that election, all people were saying was, she's calculated. She's manipulative. She's not what she seems. She's a snake. She's a liar. These are some of the exact insults people were hurling at Hillary, she added. Would I be an endorsement or would I be a liability? Look, snakes of a feather flock together. Look, the two lying women, the two nasty women. Literally millions of people were telling me to disappear, so I disappeared in many senses. Now, did she actually disappear? No, of course not. Um, she just didn't give her political opinion. That's not disappearing. That's continuing to do what you were doing. Now, people, she's right about one thing. People on the right were demonizing her, saying she's too cowardly to come up, come out and support the Democrats or sorry, the Republicans and Trump, and the left was saying she won't disavow Trump, so she must be a Republican and support him. Probably all of this based on the fact that she sings country, so she must be <laughs> a Republican. But to say that if she came out and endorsed some Hillary, people would insult her for endorsing Hillary, well, if you like the person that people don't like, it's the same reason why people don't like Trump. They think he's a horrible person, so... Can't really have it both ways. Swift broke her silence last October when she endorsed two Democratic Tennessee candidates, Phil Bredson and Jim Cooper, for the House of Representatives in the 2018 midterm elections. The move by the formerly apolitical singer incensed many on the right, including Donald Trump, 
said that he likes Taylor Swift 25% less. Now, Bresden lost. Cooper won, so she's one for two in baseball term terms. That that would be pretty good. But the other part where it's like Trump said he likes 25% less of Taylor Swift. Only a journalist trying to prove themselves correct would take that seriously. Like somebody actually would say, 25% less now, I like her because of this. Clearly a joke. Now, in rebuttal, this caused Kid Rock to say on Twitter, Taylor Swift wants to be a Democrat because she wants to be in movies, period. And it looks like she will suck the doorknob off Hollyweird to get there. We'll just move in the book. Good luck, girl. Now, if I had to choose between life or death political opinions, Taylor Swift or Kid Rock, I would go with Kid Rock. He seems a little bit more, you know, country conservative than, than I would care to be. But getting politics from celebrities overall is a bad idea. Now, there's no better example and Stacey Abrams of people who were led astray <laughs> by celebrities. Stacey Abrams in the Georgia governor election. She had Will Ferrell. She had Ludacris. She had Oprah, the rapper Common. The list went on. And she still lost, and she wouldn't even accept the results because they put so much into this. They couldn't believe they still lost. And they did that thing that they said Trump was going to do if he lost, not accept the results, even though it's okay when Democrats do it. It's, it's legitimate when Hillary or Stacey Abrams does it. It's so hard to believe that they know what they're talking about when it comes to candidates because when they express their opinion, it's always so reactionary. It's always so bad. And I don't mean it's just because I disagree. I believe it's because it's obviously uninformed. And they're just like, I have to throw my hat into this. It's my job to have, if I have such a big platform, I have to throw my hat in or else the people will be led astray and I must use my millions of followers and my musical talents or my acting talents to make a difference. Because me, 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 me. Now, if I was a singer or something non-political where I had a big audience, I can't understand why you would do this. I can't understand why you'd make such a big deal and have these reactionary Taylor Swifts out there. I have a big sign for this guy that I probably just learned about three weeks ago because I've never expressed. Like, this is what's going to happen. When you come out vehemently and all of a sudden be talking about politics, people are going to think that's when you just got into it because you're not showing any any prior knowledge, it's always, I'm voting for this person because I'm standing against hatred and bigotry and all these things that everybody's already against, but I'm a special person for saying I'm against it. You're alienating your audience members and your fan base, telling them that even though they're fans of yours, if they vote differently than you, then they're hate-filled. So you may love me, but you're also a hateful, racist monster at the same time. It doesn't make any sense. And it tends to cost the money. So if you want to do it, then do it. But I would advise against it.